channel, my name is Gizem and I make videos about my weight loss journey as a vegan. So today I have another what I eat in a day video for you guys. I'll be showing you how easy it is to be a vegan and to eat healthy and delicious meals, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Just a little disclaimer, I lead a high carb, low fat vegan lifestyle that is predominantly made of whole plant foods. So you will not see me eating a whole bunch of fatty foods, including adding any oil to my foods. I've got a pretty chill day today. I'm just gonna be at home. I'm gonna be cleaning and I've got a couple of stuff to do. So here is what I eat on a pretty chill day and I hope you enjoy it. So I know this might be really weird for some people, but I've got potatoes for breakfast. I've peeled them. I'm going to make them into wedges. I ran out of oats this morning, so I can't make porridge. Urgh. But potatoes save the day. Yay! So here I have a teaspoon of tomato paste, I have about three quarters of a teaspoon of dried thyme and a bit of black pepper, I'd say about a quarter of a teaspoon and I'm going to add a bit of water in that and mix it up. Now I don't add any salt because I don't feel the need to, I think it tastes great as it is but you can if you want to, though I don't really recommend it because the tomato paste already has quite a bit of salt. I find that adding a bit of water to the tomato paste makes it easier to go on to the cooked or partially cooked potatoes. So I'm going to pop these onto a nonstick tray and I'm going to cook them for about 30 minutes basically until they've gone golden at the top um, for at 250 degrees celsius I won't be showing you what I eat as snacks because usually I kind of have fruit and it's not that interesting. It's not really like cooking anything, so I'll have like a banana or an apple or something like that. As a snack, feel free to have some fruit or a salad or something. Guess what I've got for lunch? Potatoes, of course! Obviously, I'm having potatoes again. <laughs> I've just wrapped them up in some tin foil and I'm going to pop them into the oven for about... 45 minutes at 250 degrees celsius um it might be a bit more or a bit less i'll like after like half an hour i'll take them out and see if they're cooked or not guys i honestly don't even know what i'm doing like with my potatoes i wanted something beanie but i don't really know exactly what to do so i'm just gonna freestyle but i've got a bit of sweet corn peas, an onion, a red bell pepper, I've got a carrot, I've peeled and washed, all of these have been peeled and washed. Here I have a teaspoon of thyme, about a quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, and I've got a teaspoon of tomato paste. Yeah, let's see what it turns out to be. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to include a snack, but I'm having a banana. low heat I'm cooking my onions in about two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar and then I'm going to add my carrots and my red bell pepper 
and cook that as well before I add the rest of the veggies. Guys, I lied, I'm also adding some chopped tomatoes. Well, they will be chopped by me because this, this one's plum tomatoes. I'm going to add that in after I cook the red bell pepper and the carrot. And I've also got some parsley, but I'm going to add this on top when everything's finished. It's a good time to add the peas and the sweet corn. I'm doing but I'm going to add some barbecue sauce to this because I feel like it will go really well and I'm going to cook it for about another like 10 minutes if even that much with the lid closed and it should be done <laughs> For dinner I'm gonna be a bit lazy and I've got that bean thing from before so I'm just gonna make some bulgogi and I'm gonna eat that bean thing again and I'm just gonna make a standard salad to be honest um, I'm going to make a cup of bulgogi um, you just basically cook it like rice except um, the cooking time is a lot less which is why I love doing it because rice takes like an extra 15 minutes to make. <laughs> it's the same as rice, so one cup of bulgogi to one and a half cups of water. Literally, as soon as it soaks up all that water, it's ready. And that takes about 10 to 15 minutes, like it's not that long. So I've got a cup of bulgogi and I've also added some mint leaves because it goes really well in this.
watching as always just a quick update about my binge eating um i did put up a video saying that i had a binge eating episode about two weeks ago and i was quite upset and i was talking about how it happened because i wasn't feeding my body enough food and well hey i haven't had any binge eating episodes yay I'm really proud of myself. I was actually quite worried that I might. I took really good care of myself. I made sure I slept well. I had enough water. I had enough to eat and that I was exercising regularly. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please hit that subscribe button. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And remember that peace begins on your plate. So until next time, bye-bye.